Yo, yo, yo. We be rocking damn beats. It's Fiora and, and Uncle Tony. How's it going, guys? How are you guys doing? Today we've got an unboxing for you. There is candy canes on the table. There is candy canes on the table. It's going to be a special, kind of a special unboxing. It's a big ticket item right here. These things ain't cheap. Um, careful with that knife, sweetheart. Here you go. That is very sharp. I want we'll get to that. Go. Hang on. So, you guys know I'm a headphone uh, junkie. You know, kind of into headphones. And uh, I really prefer over ear or on ear headphones, but I haven't been able to find any with a mic except the Beats. Beats by Dre. So I finally decided to take the plunge and I ordered a pair of Beats by Dre solos, which are contained right here in this box. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do an unboxing for you today. Being, you know, the cook that I am, I busted out my chef's knife for this one. For Chizzy. For Chizzy. Here you go, Chiz. 12 inch chef's knife, buddy. There you go, Chai. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna slice it open. This thing's sharp, this won't take too long. This knife is almost sharp enough to shave with. They don't play over there with J.A. Henkels, man. These things are sharp. Alright, so we're gonna pop it open. And inside the box, we have some paper. Lots of paper. A lot of paper. And we have the beats. And my packages. <laughs> my packing slip from Best Buy. All right, so I'm gonna adjust the camera angle here, and we'll be right back, guys. Okay, here we go. The Beats by Dre Solo Edition headphones. Um, these are the on-ear headphones, not the over ears like the Studios. These are also cheaper. These run about $199 US or $219 Canadian. That's what I paid for them. So you simply have to open it up, you simply slide this out of the box. It doesn't look square. It looks it looks circle. It looks circle. What are you talking about? The headphones are circle, yes, they're not square. No. Those aren't the other ones we were looking at the other day. Uh, how do I get into this thing? It's like a trick box. Is it tape on it or something? Or what? Oh, it does, in fact, have tape on it. Here we go. We whip out the chef's knife again for Chizzy. For Chizzy. A little slice there. How come you need... How come you said another slice for Chizzy? Well, Chizzy's got that big knife he uses. This, this one's, sorry, this one's good too, buddy. This is a 12-inch chef's knife. All right, here we go. Slides right out now. Inside we have this lovely, nice red box. So we've got a little tab here on the side. You simply pull the tab and open them up. They do look nice. This is really official packaging. Candy cane? No, thank you, baby. I'm kind of making a video right now. I'll get into the candy cane later. How's that? Guys, if you want, you have to come over to here. They have to come over for candy canes? Yeah, that's yeah. come over here for candy canes, guys. <laughs> and they're minty, so I don't know if you like them. Oh, so in here, which is closed with a little piece of Velcro. Some people do like minty, but I don't think you would them because they're really minty. Are they really minty? Yeah, too minty. So here we have your quick start guide, as oh, well as yeah. welcome to the world of monster. Very cool as well as your warranty information, I'm assuming. These do come with a three-year warranty, which is very cool. They can't see you, honey. And you also get a nice white cleaning cloth. Very nice. Here you have your control talk cable. The, the uh, solo editions do come with the control talk cable. This is the new style of cable with a clicker on it and the volume up and down and uh, I believe the microphone is also in here yeah there's your microphone right there on the other side very cool hopefully that's in frame 
And then over here in the other side of the box, you have the headphones, which come in a nice soft travel pouch. I don't know if this travel pouch is going to be particularly protective, being as soft as it is, but it does seem very well padded. So I think you'd probably be fine using this. I'll definitely let you guys know. And then inside here we have the beats. Um, this is my first time holding these and trying these out and so on and so forth and uh, let's see first impressions are not great I mean the sides don't meet really well unless I just need to slide them in and out a little bit I and mean, I would expect that to be flush not off like that I don't know if you guys can see that yes there is baby that's a catalog um, I would expect this part here to be flush with the side. As you can see, it doesn't meet properly. Um, for headphones of this, you know, price, um, they should be pretty much perfect. Um, these don't quite meet properly on the side here. I don't know if they just need to break in or, or what, I don't know. But I would think that they would meet better than that. So right off the bat, I'm not happy with that and there's gaps here at the top where the headband part goes um, I, pr I have pretty high expectations of these considering the price so I don't know guys um, they feel really nice, they have good weight to them they feel pretty solid except for these hinges are uh, to be honest with you guys, the hinges are a little hokey so I guess that's it, that's my uh, unboxing of the Beats by Dre Solo Editions um, I'll use these for a little bit, and uh, I'll get back to you guys on what I think about these, okay? First impressions are, honey, can you be a little bit quieter, please? First impressions are not great. Um, this hinge doesn't meet real well here on the side, and um, like I said, for $200 headphones, you would expect very good quality. Everything should line up perfectly, and, um, you know... They do have a really nice, other than that, they feel pretty good. Um, the little gap here doesn't really bother me too much on the headband part. Um, they feel like they're really good quality, except for these hinges not lining up. Not a big fan of that. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to be like that or, I don't know. You can see it right there in the camera angle there. That hinge does not line up really well at all. I do say solo here, they have the monster logo. Um, I'll try them out and I'll let you guys know, alright? What baby? Once you use them, you'll know how they work. I will, eh? Once I use them, I'll know how they work? Yeah. Alright, so I guess that's been it for the unboxing of the Beats by Dre Solo Editions. Um, first impressions aren't great, but, um, you know, I'll let you guys know. And if I don't like these, these, these will be going back to Best Buy. So, um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Um,